Hey Capricorn, how are you? This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot, and this is your general love reading for Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys. Messages for my Capricorns out there. All right, what's going on with Capricorn? What do they need to know right now? What's happening? What's going on behind the scenes? If you want a personal love reading Capricorn, check me out. All the information is in the description box. I do have a sale going on in my tarot and oracle decks on my Etsy shop. Everything is 15% off, okay? So if you're interested, um, check me out. All right, so Capricorn, give me the energy of um, your love life, right? What's happening? What are the challenges that you may be facing right now in love? Clear messages for Capricorn. I saw the devil trying to come out, which is your energy, okay? The page of swords okay so this could be your energy of trying to gather information maybe there's something that you're wanting to know more about this could be like an investigative energy you're digging for information you're looking for truth you want clarity some of you guys you want some kind of communication from someone you could be connecting with a gemini libra aquarius this also could be the energy of kind of stalking spying right maybe you're checking someone's social media to find out the truth now, what's coming here in right now, the moment, is the Ace of Cups. I like it. Ace of Cups, the Five of Wands, and the Five of Pentacles. It looks to me like Capricorn, there could be a love offer coming to you. We're going to find out what this is all about. I feel like someone here really has a lot of love for you, and they're overflowing with emotions and feelings, okay? Um, now, there could be a situation here where there is some resistance to this offer, okay? Maybe this is someone who has been distant from you. Maybe you felt abandoned by this person in some way. Um, the Five of Pentacles, it's almost like there's been some physical distance, or you feel like in this place of lack, they haven't been showing you the attention. So this ace of cups could be like a surprise right um but this ace of cups can also be a new offer as well right it could be someone that you are um leaving out in a cold and that could be really difficult for you to do okay the five of wands is some resistance okay it's not going to be that easy but you have this beautiful ace of cups so i like it give me the recent past for capricorn ace of pentacles king of swords and the queen of swords in reverse so there definitely was some kind of argument or dispute miscommunication poor communication between you and this other person i feel like whatever happened here it's like something here may have been said where you both had decided that this wasn't going to work out anymore i feel like there was an ending there was some kind of missed opportunity with someone here okay and it seemed maybe very promising at one point but it does look like you have let something go or something simply just wasn't working. So you can be literally saying bye to someone or some kind of connection that has failed. And there could be a new offer coming in that's full of love. Now Capricorn, on your mind is the Queen of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, and the Seven of Pentacles. It looks to me, Capricorn, that you could be a little bit guarded. You could be in the energy of closed off or holding back a little bit. But I feel like, Capricorn, you know when, you know, the time is right. I feel like with the Seven of Pentacles energy, there could be some caution as to who you invest your time and put your, your all into, okay, in terms of relationships. But it's like you're waiting for the right person. I'm getting the energy of you using discretion, right really being able to really um focus on what matters to you right what's valuable to you what kind of relationship do you want what would that look like right and so you know i think that you may be focusing on your stability overall and thinking about the long term with all these pentacles and you know not really necessarily thinking about love per se right love is one thing but do you have stability with someone so this could be a cancer pisces scorpio or another earth sign that you're dealing with but i feel like you're thinking for the future and you know there could be something here about you deciding if something is worth holding on to or not right so give me the energy of what's in the foundation for capricorn the moon, the emperor, the three of swords, the tower with the six of swords. So someone here has definitely broken your heart, Capricorn. It looks like there's a lot of emotional pain and, you know, you cut ties with someone. That's what it looks like. You you cut ties. There's some kind of loss here and it's with this emperor-like energy. So it definitely could be someone that maybe you live with, maybe you had a marriage with. This also could be someone you have a child with. Um, there was a lot of deception. Maybe there were a lot of illusions, secrets, things that were hidden from you, too many unknowns, and that was enough to cut ties with. But not only that, we have the tower. So it looks to me like 
this tower could be something you've gone through something very difficult and it's made you change the direction of which you're going and what you want what you're looking for i feel for the majority of you guys you wanting to uh, move away from some kind of tower moment that has happened in your life now we're gonna see what this emperor is um this definitely could be someone who's hurt you and they're wanting to make peace with something here the six of swords could be like let's overcome this really difficult ending i know i treat you bad i know i wasn't there for you i know i kept things from you and this could be kind of like shocking i feel like with the emperor um the six of swords and the moon you know you may have no idea this person still wants to recover something and move away from some kind of difficult ending so let's see what's going on as far as the outcome the Hierophant, the Sun, and the Three of Wands in verse. I feel like Capricorn, there, there's something here about what are you committed to? And I think that's going to be a question that you're going to be asking yourself. What are you really committed to? Because I feel with the Sun, there's a breakthrough. There's change. There's some kind of clarity. There's something that could be illuminated in your life. And I feel with the Sun, you know, these are like doors opening up to you and saying, move on, you know, keep moving, keep walking. Now, I feel like there's someone in your life that you're having to leave behind. And I feel that with the Three of Wands, because it's almost like you've been waiting, waiting, waiting for something to happen and it hasn't. It hasn't brought forth perhaps the commitment that you want. Maybe you're no longer committed to it with the Hierophant in verse. And so it looks to me like the sun could be a new change coming in for your life. And it could be opening up, you know, your heart to a new person. It could be a Leo. It could be a Taurus. With this Ace of Cups, I feel like something new is coming in. And part of what you're having to do is to perhaps realize that you can't hold back anymore. Okay, and, and you shouldn't hold back because this beautiful Ace of Cups is here. So, you know, let's see. Page of Swords. I do feel pay, uh, Page of Swords is your energy, Capricorn, where you're trying to find out more information. You're trying to get clear on something. Maybe you feel like there's something missing. We have the Ace of Pentacles in a verse and the Knight of Pentacles in a verse. Yeah, I get the sense of Capricorn. You know, you still want to know a wide why did something not work out why was there a missed opportunity here right the ace of pentacles is like you're feeling like why did something crumble you know like something seemed very promising why didn't it work out then why was this person un you know not prepared to move forward and pursue me or or move forward and offer this commitment so there's something here where you're trying to find out this can definitely be someone here that kind of left you out in a cult with the five of pentacles may have ghosted you page of swords yeah Page of Swords and Verse and a Star. So I feel like whoever this person is, I'm getting the energy of ghosting or all of a sudden being very, I'm getting a pettiness, petty type of person. And it's like they're not talking. I'm getting the energy of like just cutting you off, not talking and leaving you in this place of Five of Pentacles where you're kind of like, what happened? Like, you know, did I even deserve that? And so I feel like Capricorn, that's forcing you to heal. The Star is forcing you to kind of remember like what really matters. This person... It, who are they? You know, do they really matter? Who cares what they think? But I feel like there's something about you taking time to really heal and recover from this because this could have been really, really difficult for you. Five of Wands, and that's why I think the Three of Swords is here. Five of Wands is the Ace of Swords in verse. And, you know, part of what you're fighting right now internally is the fact that you don't know what happened. Okay, there's something here where this person never gave you the truth. There could have been miscommunication, arguing, fighting, and it really took a toll on you. Um, but I feel like you guys are ready for this new beginning. Ace of Cups, what do we need to know about this? Ace of Cups, uh, Ace of Wands. It could be coming in a new person, um, fire energy. It could be a Leo, Sag, Aries. Someone is coming in very quickly. I'm getting like they're going to save the day. It's like when you least expect it, this person's going to come in and take you by surprise. It's going to be a very loving offer. Definitely, um, someone who's very excited motivated driven and it's going to take you by surprise but what you're leaving behind is something here that had to come to an end there's a missed opportunity four swords and a temperance in verse because capricorn you waited long enough that's what i'm seeing you waited long enough you've been more than patient with someone capricorn and i feel like you're at a point where you're like disconnecting from them the four swords is when you focus on yourself you're doing a lot of deep thinking connecting with yourself finding peace of mind recovering and that's what you're having to do because, yeah, something didn't work, but it, it may have not worked out for a reason, right? There's always a higher reason um, for why something may not play out the way that we envision, right? And you're just going to have to, like, adapt and say, you know what, I'm going to keep moving in this direction, whether this person is with me or not. So I feel like with regard to this person, you've been waiting for them to 
I mean, get their life together or speak their truth or finally commit and it hasn't happened. So give me the energy of the four pentacles. Capricorn, we have the four cups and the king of pentacles. See, your rejection has allowed you to now move forward and really focus on what matters to you. The king of pentacles, a lot of your focus right now, Capricorn, is your commitment your family your home you know um providing some form of stability in your life um it could be your business financial securities um but it comes with the four cups so it's like yeah there's someone here that you feel rejected by there's someone that may have left you out in the cold may have made you feel really hurt disappointed unwanted unloved but you're working on yourself and some of you guys that is the motivation that you needed to work on yourself and work on things in your life that you needed to fix okay so with the four pentacles i do get the sense some of you guys are a little bit guarded the justice in reverse and the seven of wands in reverse yeah because there's something here that you really were fighting for and you felt this person or someone here did an injustice to you it's like whatever treatment you got you did not deserve it okay it's telling me here there was an injustice here that was done to, uh, toward you and it could be regarding a libra it also could be regarding a situation where there was a, a marriage or some kind of legal situation and it's like you're not wanting to be a part of that anymore you know so you're being very cautious and thinking about what you get yourself into especially with regard to other people and maybe even contracts okay so give me the energy of the moon in the foundation moon is a ten of wands and the three of cups in verse. So I do see someone here who is not speaking this, but they're feeling overwhelmed, very much burdened by a situation here where they may have put themselves in. The three of cups is definitely indicating that they're affected by some kind of downfall or breakdown in the connection. And it could have been because of them, because of a third party situation. So what it looks to me like this person knows what they did. They are definitely at fault and feel guilty. And that could be why they're in this emotional energy, the moon with the ten of wands, feeling very burdened. Now, why is the emperor here? The emperor is clarified by the three of pentacles and the nine of pentacles in a verse. So there is someone here that's going to come towards you, Capricorn. There's no saying who this is, but it does look like there's someone who is going to strive to get on the same page with you. There is the energy of someone coming in and finally taking charge, ownership of the connection. Uh, you and this person have the potential to build a very, very strong foundation with the three of pentacles. And it does look like there's going to be some kind of partnership or coming together, collaborating for the long term um now with the three of swords you know that is something you're still moving away from some hurt knight of swords in reverse and I, again th there's the energy of you not getting truth clarity communication but i get the sense that you're moving away from it anyway and that could be what the tower is um capricorn the tower could be you going through a really difficult ending but you know the six of swords right next to it so whatever this is that you've experienced um it looks like you're just leaving behind it you just you're just saying you know what i have to leave this behind i'm not taking this with me especially if i'm moving into a new relationship because you know this is stress and conflict turmoil misery drama and you know that's gonna hold you back so give me the energy of what's coming in we have this beautiful sun right in the middle so i feel like there's something that you're giving up on you're no longer waiting for and then the sun comes out the judgment so part of this you know it's telling me that the judgment is that you're gonna have to make a decision and the sun again the happiest card in tarot deck happiness harmony illumination truth right um, it's going to require you to make a decision and stand in your truth, right? King of Wands is here. This could definitely be in a fire sign. It could be the same fire energy that we got with the Ace of Wands who's coming in for this new beginning, Ace of Cups. So there's definitely someone who's going to take you by surprise. You're going to be making big decisions regarding this person. And it looks like with the sun, this is like you moving toward a very peaceful, harmonious, loving um relationship ace of cups and all this wands is going to happen very quickly and with the sun it looks like it's going to feel right it's going to feel good you know so i think that part of you having to, what you're having to do is not focus and fixate yourself on someone and no longer wait for that the situation to um reciprocate or that person to reciprocate no longer waiting for someone to give more or make things right with you i feel like what i'm seeing capricorn is that you moving on you moving on and moving forward. So Capricorn, um, yeah, that is what I have for you guys. And the challenge is the Page of Swords. So definitely is the energy of either you, this person, still kind of watching each other, but again, not taking action. And so, you know, 
how how long you're going to continue to watch someone and wait for someone if they're not willing to take that first step towards you. So I think that what I'm seeing is that a lot of you guys, it's time to move on. It's time to live your best life and not put your, your life on hold for someone because it's just not worth it. All right. So Capricorn, that is your reading. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. So you're aware of when I upload these readings and I'll check you guys out later. Bye.